Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Ado. Today, we're going to connect to Google Sheets. So the idea for this episode is I'm going to teach you how to read and write into a Google Sheets, a, a Google Sheet. So first thing, let's create a blank spreadsheet here. Let's say this is our coding with Ado test sheet. Okay, so we're going to use that. And one thing that we will need to copy for now is the sheet ID. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that somewhere so we can keep that safe. And then we are gonna need to create our service account for that. Okay, so we're gonna go and go to API and services. First thing that we need is to enable Google Sheets, so we have to enable API. And services let's say sheets and we're gonna enable Google Sheets here got it enable okay it takes a little bit of time to enable that thing and then that works now we need to go and create our credentials so for that we need to create a service account so we're gonna send here I don't know uh, going with hello yeah so let's continue uh, could be use owner I'm gonna just do it for myself so that's fine ideally you only have to add the access to Google Sheets and then you have here your Google Sheets thing then you have to edit that and download the JSON yeah, so add key, create new key, JSON, create. Uh, allow okay, perfect. And then in here we have our file. Uh, this file I'm not gonna share it because it has access to all my details. All my details, so all the things from the Google Sheet from this account, uh, or all the things that this account has access. So for now. I'm gonna reveal what that file looks like, but it's basically a JSON for, you know, a, it's a JSON to access the information from Google Cloud. So, okay. So we have having those two things, the sheet ID and these keys. Now we can go ahead and start coding. Okay. So let's go and let's add two things here. So let's do npm install npm init first to create the package. In the google.json we have the I call it the file. And let's do uh, I'm not gonna add the file ID into the dot end because we can change that. We were we gonna able be able to change it. So let's just install Google APIs. Once we have that, let's create our index.js file. Let's do const google equals to require google APIs. Let's set up the authorization for google and alt. So for google APIs, so let's do new google alt dot google alt. The key file is going to be the google.json and the scopes in here we're gonna allow https and blah, 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 google apis.com slash out slash spreadsheets okay that's the only thing that we're gonna allow for now and this out so now we have that we can create it functions to write and to read so let's first do the write function a sync function write to sheet okay we're gonna do a const sheets equals to google dot sheets with the version i think right now it's the p4 and sending the alt to the connection so now sheets is connected to our google sheets account the next thing is we need to tell the sheets hey the file 
that we're gonna use, the spreadsheet that we're gonna use, is gonna be this sheet. So let's first add that to our a uh, parameter here. So let's do spreadsheet. Um, spreadsheet. Spread sheet ID equals two. The spreadsheet ID that we just stored. Um, let's say the range to start the, all the things that we're gonna add is gonna be from the sheet one and the A1. So basically, the first sheet and the first row and the first column. So it's like it starts from zero from scratch. And let's say that the value input option is a option parameter from the Google Sheets cost value input option is gonna be user enter okay now let's create some values so let's send here some values uh, that we're gonna send it's gonna be an array of arrays uh, that's how you basically do different lines and the resource is gonna be the object values and so on, once we have all that let's do our connection uh, let's do our writing process okay for that let's catch all these into errors and console error 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 and in here let's do await sheets dot spreadsheets dot values dot update and then we do spreadsheet ID, we do the range, we do the value input option and the resource. Okay, that's basically how you write. Uh, we can do like a const response equals to that and return that response. Um, and let's do here a function to review if that works okay let's do close writer equals to await write sheet and in here let's grab and create an array of arrays let's say name age and location for example the second value is going to be like a o 33 Miami. Let's do the second one to be like Pepe uh, 21 uh, Singapore. And then let's do Juan 32 uh, Mexico. Okay. So actually, let's do that so I show you. Uh, we can send in the first here so it does as the number and we can process the numbers and do something like that. Okay, but yeah, basically, this is how you write that. Let's do a console log writer. And let's note in the process. Okay, oh, wait, we needed to call this anonymous function. Okay, color has, does not have permission to what? Uh, does not have permission to write on this file. Um, okay, there's something we need from here. Let me see. So the sheet is called sheet one. The ID, that's fine. Okay, I think I figured it out. So what we need to do, uh, this is an important step, is uh, as we're not going to do the login uh, the permissions, we're gonna do this very simple. We can go to the file, we go share, and in here you have to add the user, the service account that you created from here. So if you go to the service account, I didn't attach anything, it's the same place where we did like the keys, you go to permissions, 
you can see here there's the email for the service account you also have it here uh, when you create the service accounts start here so this is this one the same thing so you go to the add the group here add it as an editor send okay so now if we go to the code and we launch the same exact thing we will get a 200 okay and if we go to the file you see the new data okay and you can see how these are numbers so you can actually do stuff with that like 86 you can do like price or whatever you know etc 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 that's the number uh, so yeah basically this is how you write now let's do Ready. So let's do how would we gonna read like these values. Okay. So let's create another function here. Uh, let's do async function read sheet. Uh, let's do here how to read the sheet. So we need to do same thing to log into the file to the sheet. So let's do sheet sheets equal to mood sheets uh, version before and the auth. So that's the same thing. We still do the same thing for the spreadsheet. I'm gonna copy and paste this spreadsheet. And yeah, that's I think that's basically it. Oh wait wait, we need to also do the range. So const range equals to sheet one equals to a one. So same thing. Um actually I think we can read this like instead of reading everything we can do like hey read it from a one to the E ten. Oh, sorry. Sorry, e ten. So let's just read that branch of the data. Now we're let's do like a try catch. There is a catch. Console error error error. And then in here we do cos response equal to an away sheets dot spreadsheets dot values dot get and let's send the spreadsheet ID and the range. Okay. Now let's do uh, how do we transfer that? I think we have to do const rows equals to response dot data dot values yeah because it's the same values from here and this has this response to data like this one so let's do return rows and basically here we can do cost to read cost data equals to an await with sheet and and let's do console data. So let's clear this out. Let's run it. So it will write again, but it's gonna append the same data. And then you have here the data. So yeah, that's basically how you read and write using Google Sheets. You can use it as your database or whatever. And yeah, if you like, a, you know, like the video, subscribe. A comment on my videos if you want a specific API to be connected I can do that connect to my discord account I added that into the community tab and yeah see you on the next video bye, -bye.